So my name's Alan and uh, I'm a TB21281 as well, which is a, a scout trooper, which is the coolest of all the Star Wars characters, without question. I've been fortunate enough to be in the garrison since 2016 and my first trip was uh, Celebration, Celebration Europe back then, so that's why I got it. So I joined the garrison because um, I didn't know garrison existed. That's, that's the craziest thing. So I, I kind of wrote a bucket list when I was a very young boy. And on that bucket list, um, I wanted a scout trooper costume. And um, I was fortunate enough to meet members of the garrison outside a very popular toy shop in, uh, in London. And I got talking and, you know, I was amazed that these people with such costumes and dedication existed and that were there. And then did my little research on the forums and found people and initially kind of just wanted the costume in the same way that people collect, you know, figures or toys or whatever. Um, and then kind of got embroiled in this very rewarding world. So yeah, I am. I have the the uh, carpentry and masonry skills of a gnat. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, I, I did buy it. But um, what I would say to people is that a lot of the, um, I suppose, worry about joining any any kind of. Uh, club, let's say, in any regard, is your knowledge of that. You know, if you want to join a car club, do you really know about carburetors and do you know about this and that and the other? The best thing about um, the UKG is that everybody supports each other. So I kind of went to them and was like, I, I kind of really want to be a scout trooper. Um, but then in doing so, met the people that do the costume, met the people that do the gloves, met the people that do the boots, and then invariably you kind of fall into it that way. Um, so I've, I've still got no knowledge of a lot of the stuff and how they put it together. And every time I come to a, a troop like this and I see the effort that people have put into costumes I'm, I'm still amazed but yeah there's no shame there's no shame in buying it um, but there's also you know that's what that's what's lovely about it because the people you meet and the company you, you keep is second to none plans for next costume um, hi, uh, plans for next costume the problem is is that it would become very easy to get addicted to buying or making costumes, which I know is a, is a thing. Um, but no, I mean, the, the, all I think about is that it's something I wanted when I was a kid. The Scout Trooper is what I was, I was mad for. Um, but I've kind of got a little thing about clone troopers at the moment. I've got someone over here that is, knows that I want to buy a clone trooper. Um, because I think when you've got kids, you look at the prequels of A New Light, and um, even though there's elements of those movies I don't like, quite big ones. Um, the problem with the, uh, the clone troopers just look cool, man, don't they? So there's that, but yeah, I've also got um, Ghostbusters and Turtles and things like that. But I do, I do have to really be like invested in it. And a lot of the things I know that if I went out and bought something because it looked cool, then there's no love, there's no passion for it. So it would have to be something that really meant a lot to me. And Ghostbusters, absolutely. That's my next big thing, I think. My best trooping moment ever. I'll tell you what my best trooping moment was, because there's so many and it's not, it's not fair to pick one with the garrison because there's so much, but I will talk about one. So when I was about 13, 14 years old, I dressed up, uh, I worked at a popular stationery shop that's everywhere. And um, one day, I suppose this is where kind of my love for it came. One day, uh, my boss at the time said to me, oh, a movie comes out next week on, on video called The Phantom Menace. Do you know it? I was like, yeah. And they're like, because oh, they told me you might like it and want to be part of it. Um, can, would you mind dressing up? So I was like, no, I'll be Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I went home and I, and I literally made all this gear myself and got like, I had hair back then. And I had all my hair back and a little thing like down here and whatever. And like, she was like, I'll oh, just, you know, you know. so that, that was that. And a week went by and I turned up the next week at work and they're promoting this movie. And they gave me like a flick out lightsaber. And they said to me, go down into the basement um, where all the news papers were anything and, and try out some moves because they were like we've got someone in that's done all like the Darth Maul makeup and that'd be really cool I was like oh yeah we could that'd be great so I'm um, you know I'm 17 18 years old and I'm down in the in the in the back of the popular stationery shop and I'm giving it all this and trying to make the moves and out of the storage elevator it, it came down and the doors opened to like an actual Darth Maul standing there like this that like looked up with all the face paint it turns out it was this like 28 year old like choo -choo expert that could do all the flips and all the moves and everything like that and they then stood they were like, like do, do some rehearsals in here and they weren't they weren't English 
and I couldn't understand that what they were saying and they remained in character the whole time doing all the flips and the backflips and things and then they put me out the front of the store in Basildon High Street and I had all kids around me going go on Obi-Wan and I was like oh uh, okay eh, eh. like that while they were doing backflips and every now and then I'd do that and then Darth Maul would run away um, so I've picked that because that probably is something that invariably got me into doing this and um, I can't pick the moments because the moments to me aren't just out on the floor when the people come and see you and go hey look you know that's a really good costume or wow you look awesome or whatever oh, I love Scout Troopers they're my favourite or whatever the moments to me that mean a lot are the moments when you're in there with other people and talking and, and socialising and they're, 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 they're great Uh, Empire Strikes Back, and there is no other answer to that. Uh, that's how quick that will be. If we want to know my worst one, we're going to be here for about an hour and a half. So let's leave that one for now. Do I get to grab Jar Jar's tongue if he went for an hors d'oeuvre without me knowing? Would that be a, would that be a thing? Because could I do that? I'd probably do that. Um, and if not, I've got, I've got to eat with them. Because there are some people, maybe Vader, because that'd be interesting how he'd get it in. Because um, that's a question, isn't it? But uh, hand solo would be cool because the fun, layers layer. Um, but yeah, probably a, a good listener. So I do this. He's the man.